Okay, Star Skin Hutch in the centre of Durham, and we're going to school. Hi everyone, welcome to school. Hello. That says real food without rubbish, literally. Excellent. Um, I'm Lena. I'm Gori. I um, just want to tell you a bit about what this is. So Scoop is um, a sustainable, student-run, no-waste business. So we sell a range of um, no, uh, no packaging groceries that you can pick up here. Um, what's your favourite? What do you always get? Those are usually banana chips, but I can't find it right now. <laughs> Just a regular got banana Yogurt and banana chips. Yogurt. Yeah. These are amazing too. Uh, Best sellers here. I love Excellent. popcorn as well. So basically it's a space for students to come in and buy, buy the groceries without having to uh, go to the supermarket and buy in plastic mm. packaging. Um, we also price match Tesco's. Okay. So um, our big thing here is to make sustainability really accessible right. because that's... Um, that's a really big issue because it's expensive to be sustainable, yeah. especially as a college student. Especially yeah. as a new student, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you can get all your student essentials here as well. So pastas, rice, um, a lot of pasta because that's all we eat. Mm -hmm. um, and it was set up I think three years ago. Uh, three years ago, then time flies. Um, and um, we have since expanded to also support local businesses. So over there. We have our student sellers, they're from Durham, they're students of us Durham and it's just based on them showing their creativity and getting a chance to make a living out of it. But again, a lot of these items that they make are made from sustainable materials, like this is made from recycled clothes, the earrings are also made from polymer clay, it's big, um, so are the candles. It's really interesting what these students can do and we're glad that we have an opportunity to showcase their talent. Exactly. Yeah, and then I joined Ski last a few months ago, mm -hmm. um, and I started doing events here. So we we're hosting a lot of different events. So we yeah, had we also. had yeah. So we did yeah. reworking our clothes in line with like using the same clothes. Mm -hmm. um, we reworked our clothes. So I put patches on my jeans that I didn't like, and now I really like them. We also did no waste pamper night, mm -hmm. so we used the products that we have here mm -hmm. yeah. to make like lip masks and um, lip glosses, and it was really really fun. We and then also recently started selling sustainable toilet trees. They're made by Minimal, and essentially again the same thing. They're just there from sustainable sources, and we're supporting small businesses again. Fantastic. Yeah. Now there's some local communities here that grow vegetables and things. Maybe you can contact them and try and bring some of their vegetables in as well and mm -hmm. things like this. I so, mean, uh, mm -hmm. so actually we have so out of the back mm -hmm. is a big freezer because we're um, we kind of work together with this other Durham company called the Ugly Fruit Group. Okay. So what they do is they go I think the product should be somewhere here. But what they do is they go to supermarkets and um, food that isn't is isn't only viable to be sold, mm -hmm. so wonky vegetables. Mm -hmm. They buy it off, uh, they either buy off or take off supermarkets, and they either re redistribute it to food banks because Durham North East is the one area in the UK that struggles the most with food poverty and food insecurity. So they either give it to food banks to like help other community, or they make it the stuff that can't be given. They make it into jams and preserves. And then we sell it here too, um, mm. so that we minimise the amount of uh, fruit and vegetables that goes, goes to waste. And you're all students, so this is a, you know, yes. something so good. So you were for the second year. Second year. Okay. Same here, I do marketing, so right. this is like, law. Yeah, right. so this is like makes sense for us. And it makes sense for us. And it's so just so fun. you do it on a voluntary basis then, can we? Yes. Okay, so, so you all give a bit of time and that's yeah. it. Everyone so, offers their time to volunteer at the store right. and things. So really? how many students are involved, roughly? So I think the exact like the, the, the committee that runs mm. it is about well, then 15, 20. Right, yeah, okay. and then we've got an amazing group of volunteers that they're on vacation, so yeah. whenever they're free. They come in here. three times a week, because right. we open three times a week and they sit here and obviously run, run the store. Right. Uh, so we've been I think of more than two hundred people have gone through this store in some capacity okay. thing. It's a big, a big chunk. It is, it is. It's it's big big chunk, chunk. I know a lot of students who come here regularly. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really fun. If you go here, you can okay. also see that 
There are three charities mentioned here. Okay. So essentially, all the profits that we earn from the store, if they're not used for the upkeep of the store, we donate them to charity. Oh, that's very good of you. Um, and this time we gave the customers a chance to choose where they would like to donate to. And that's a very good was idea. And was Angelo Center, yeah. which I guess the introduction is quite exp yeah. self-explanatory, but it's basically yeah. supporting women of color. Yeah. Um, Okay, and the other ones, I'll give them a plug as well. Right. Yeah. yeah, so all of these charities are local charities that mm -hmm. can then help us. We, we're really trying to um, better the community that we live yeah. in as well. Fair enough. And then that's actually my first project I did when I first joined Ski, mm -hmm. our blind date with a book. So we've got like a book swap as well, uh, okay. um, where you can come in and you can look at a description of a book and be like, oh, right. that sounds quite fun. And then you can t take it with you. And then we've also got a book swap here where you can just like take a book right. and give us one back. Um, just so, again, people don't have to buy new books. Um, we also have clothing racks. So basically, right. these are clothes that either students donate or mm -hmm. different colleges donate. Right. Um, so we have clothing racks that are for students and for staff. Right. And they're also great where you can reuse clothes. Right. Um, in a way, like, you know, instead of going out and buying mm -hmm. clothes, you might as well find something that's in good condition. Right. And you, you could be adding more and more to the shop all the time, right? You know, things are always, always, yeah. always something different. Every time yeah. this world is something new. Yeah, because we're just that. trying to make it like a sustainable space for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big thing because I mean we've got this amazing location right. in like centre of Durham. Right. Uh, then we just want to like make the best out of it and provide as much. Does the university support you? No, so we're actually not affiliated with the university. Okay. So, um, but they don't. Sort but, of, okay. but we do host events in yeah. some colleges. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're yeah. hosting one in John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we don't get any funding. No, 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 any funding from the university, but 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 they appreciate what you're doing. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so of course, this is um, exactly. So they're yeah. quite um, supportive in other ways. Of, yeah, but yeah. We, we we last the last term we started um, like a big round of all the eco societies in Durham, mm. and they all came together here, and we made a newsletter as well. Okay. So now we get all our information out um, every week right. for any like, eco-conscious students. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I love working, like I really enjoy working really here. Yeah. Um, really yeah, it's been so fun. And like you said, it does change every week as well. Like, yeah. it, we're always evolving. Yeah. We're always growing. Always so growing. Do you want to volunteer? Is there any last final message you would say? Uh, I think our big message is that sustainability is for everyone yeah. and that it's all about the little things that you can do. You don't have yeah. to change the world, yeah. which obviously if you want to change the world, that's, that's so amazing. great. Yeah. Well, even, um, even little things count. But even if you don't, can't do it, that's fine. Right, lovely. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank so you so much. Thank you.